since the prominent emergence of the cane toad species three weeks ago, many residents have expressed concerns about the ecological impact of the invasive species. Jiminita Swain spoke with Bahamas National Trust officials who are monitoring the animal's activity. Bahamas National Trust officials contend that news of the cane toad is causing quite a stir. The Trust's Director of Science and Policy, Vanessa Haley Benjamin, has been flooded with phone calls from residents concerned about the nocturnal cane toad's presence. And she believes residents are generally afraid, which in turn is causing them to target native frog species. The average Bahamian is not really aware of the native frogs that we have and the fact that we have four native species of frogs that exist. So now it's just this explosion. Any frog that they see, they automatically assume it's a cane toad. And then when you hear toxic, then they think that they're in fear for their lives. If you just have a general fear for frogs, you probably will panic and want to kill it. But native frogs are um, beneficial in their own right with killing thousands of insects. Benjamin remembered some calls lasting up to half an hour, but she dispelled claims that the toxin could be squirted up to six feet, noting that the toad would have to be physically compressed for that to happen. But she did reiterate how residents could distinguish a cane toad from native species. A cane toad would not be found on walls, on trees, on windows, on your cars. And that's because they don't have suction cups on their feet, so they can't physically climb. Another thing people think that they're going to be, there's going to be this toad there and it's going to squirt toxin at you and you're going to automatically die. Well, it's not the case. I mean, these, this is a natural defense mechanism of the cane toad. You have to handle it. They have to be threatened or feel threatened for the toxins to get on your, your hands. Environmental health officials confirm that so far more than 200 adult cane toads have been caught and killed. Officials confirm that cane toads have been contained to the western section of the island, but pet owners should still keep a lookout. I'm concerned about pets. Pets are gener they're generally curious. So they will approach the toad, they will try to mouth the toad, and when ingested, the toxic is deadly. Um, however, if it just gets on your skin um, and you don't have any open wounds, it will just cause a skin reaction. An information fact sheet is expected to be released in the coming weeks to assist the public with clearly distinguishing a cane toad from the local frog species. Jiminita Swain, ZNS Network News.